So, next section. Oh, here I've got like my sciencey books and stuff. So I've got Animal Liberation by Peter Singer, The Origin of Species, and The Voyage of the Beagle by Charles Darwin, The Selfish Gene by Richard Dawkins, one of my favourite books, The Greatest Show on Earth by Richard Dawkins, God is Not Great by, um, oh it's upside down, Christopher Hitchens. I want to read more of his books, The God Illusion by Richard Dawkins. Physics of the Future, The Inventions That Will Transform Our Lives by Michio Kaku, and uh, Moby Dick by Herman Melville. So, onto the back row. This is just like a random um, National Geographic magazine I have. This is a forensic casebook that was given to me about forensics, basically. Digital Photography by um, Ian Farrell. And it's a really good book actually. We've got two of the books that came with our camera, I think. One of them is from a... Uh, is my friend James's, but he refused to take it home, so now I have two. I've got Drawing... Oh yeah, Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain, which is a pretty good book if you're just starting to draw. Get in there! And then a book about Andy Warhol, which wasn't very good, to be honest. Not very well written. Illustration, uh, po a book of portraits, which is quite good. I'll show you a couple. Got some really good ones in there. An illustration now, which is like part of the same, it's like the same publisher. Work. It's got some really cool stuff in it. And oh, this is a good one. This is a like it'll teach you about the old um, old masters. Like it'll give you an old painting. For example, this one, and then it'll talk about all the various, like, people that are in it, and all the symbology, I mean symbolism, uh, around it, and uh, it's quite cool. Uh, this is a little book on uh, modern art, which my grandparents gave me. Oh, this is just an instruction booklet for my calculator, which I don't need anymore. I think that's all the books. So, on to DVDs. Okay, so for DVDs, we have uh, Fight Club, which I haven't uh, seen yet. I'm waiting to read the book. I've got Underworld, Underworld Evolution, and The First Underworld, which I really like. I like all three, but everything that came after wasn't uh, very good. Got Saw 6, which I really like. It's my third favourite Saw movie, I think. I've got a uh, Black Swan, which was a really good film. Inglorious Bastards, which is one of my favourite films ever. Uh, Clockwork Orange, District 9, which is good. Pulp Fiction, which is one of my favourite films. Viva Vendetta, which is one of my favourite films. Uh, I've got like a little box set of the four, uh, four Batman movies. We've got Batman and Batman Returns, Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. These, I know these two are, uh, these two are terrible, I know, but they're good for a laugh now and then. Sweeney Todd, which is good. The Horror Horror Picture Show, because why not? Uh, two of my favourite films, Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2. Reaper the Genetic Opera, which I really, really love. Pan's Labyrinth, which is also one of my favourite films. Moon, which was really, really good. Blade Runner, which is probably my favourite. I love it so much. Uh, Space Odyssey, which is like a perfect film. No flaws at all. Uh, at the back... Oh god, this is going to be really random. Um, we have um, first Saw movie, Saw 2, Saw 3, which is my favourite Saw, uh, Saw 5, which wasn't very good, uh, Saw 4, which was okay, 
uh, I didn't get so 3D because it was like one of the worst movies I've ever seen. David Bowie, Family Guy, Blue Harvest, Family Guy, Simpsons, something, 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 Dark Side. Uh, a DVD of an exhibition called Body Works, which is where people have like skinned and dissected the human bodies and put them on display. Which I went to and it was amazing. Uh, the Austin Powers trilogy because I loved them when I was younger. 28 days later and 28 weeks later. Which were good films but I don't know why I got it to be honest. Because I haven't watched them since. Uh, Resident Evil. Uh, Resident Evil Apocalypse. Resident Evil Extinction. Which I, th I think these three are really good. And then I've got uh, Afterlife which wasn't that great. Then I've got like a box set of three horror films. We've got Vampire, Vampires, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, and Wolf. Then we have Rob Zombie's Halloween, which I liked. Like, I don't know why everybody hates it, but I really liked it. Um, Alien vs Predator, that to be honest is, I think it's quite good. Say what you will, but I really enjoyed it. The second one that came out, I didn't enjoy quite so much though. Then we have Scary Movie, which was given to me. I don't think I'd ever buy this. The original Halloween. And I've got a box set of Alien and Aliens, which are two really good films. Then I've got like my music, my CD section. And like, I don't know, bear, half of these albums aren't really, I don't think I'd ever buy myself. Uh, so like, bear in mind, because this isn't really very representative of my music taste but I'll go through it anyway. We've got Kin by I Am A Mai Who Am I she is absolutely amazing and everyone who watches this should check her out. Next we have Bjork's Greatest Hits we have The Origin of Symmetry by Muse which I love probably my favourite Manson album High End of Low which I didn't mind I like this one, even though most people don't. Uh, Antichrist Superstar, which is amazing. Uh, Ceremonials by Florence and Machine, which is, I think, is just as good as her first album, Lungs. Uh, one of my favourite albums by Porter's Head, uh, Justice. Justice is amazing. God, stay. Whatever. Oh, I can't even move it now. Stay. Then we have a lot insane. Uh, we've got Diamond Dogs, Scary Monsters. Uh, wait, what is this? Yeah, Scary Monsters. Heroes. Greatest Hits. Get up there. And uh, Cre Queen's Greatest Hits. Oh, more DVDs. Matrix Reloaded, which I just have. I don't know why I have. The Return of the Jedi and A New Hope. I don't know where Empire Strikes Back is, though. I may have lost it, so my trilogy is incomplete, unfortunately. Then I have The Crow, which is, I, I really like, it's quite cool. Evanescence, uh, Seven Precious Weapons, which I saw them live uh, when I uh, went to see Gaga, and where is it? Oh, uh, I thought I had a signed ticket in here somewhere. Oh well, but I do have one somewhere. I have a photo with them on Facebook. Paramore, when they, when I actually liked them. Uh, Green Day, Silverstein, 30 Seconds to Mars, The Scissor Sisters, which my mum bought me. I think she heard me listen to a couple of their songs and she thought I loved them. So she bought me this album and she bought me that album. So now I have two Scissor Sisters albums that I never listened to. My Chemical Romance. Which is, uh, this was just okay. I absolutely loved this when I was younger. Disintegration by The Cure. I've got their greatest hits. I've got The Fame Monster. Born This Way. Uh, Born This Way the remix. Lady Gaga the remix. Dead Mouse. Daft Punk. OK Computer and uh, Pablo Honey. Also Hail to the Thief. So from the brief music shelf, we come down to this other set of books. Uh, this was like a drawing manual that I had to buy for school that I never used. Uh, what's this? Oh, this is like a cool little science book. An introduction to watercolour, oil painting, and pastels. This is a book on rocks and fossils that uh, I just really like to look at the pictures. They're quite nice. Oh, and then this was another set of books my grandparents gave me. It's like Rembrandt, Cezanne, Renoir, Van Gogh, Degas, Manet. Or Monet, I don't know. Picasso, Michelangelo, Monet, and Gog 
gone. I don't know how to pronounce anything. Then we've got these two books about my city. Uh, where I lived in Portugal. This is face parts, how to draw like the different parts of the face, uh, drawing and pastels. This is like a little sketchbook and that's my Canon manual thing and that's something that I don't know. Then in this one we just have a box with magical items in it. Not very interesting. And here we have a big sketchbook, uh, a collection of Lady Gaga photos by Terry Richardson, which I got really cheap from the works, but it was a bit uh, tattered. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, this is uh, my big animal book that I loved when I was younger. Whenever I wanted to draw an animal, I would get this book out and just look at Atlas of the Human Body, which is a very good book by uh, I don't know Weldon. Weldon Owen, is it? The Human Body book, that's quite a good book too. Uh, skeletons, this is just some skeletons from different animals I might need to look at if I'm ever drawing skeletons, I guess. Uh, landscape photography, uh, the fundamentals of drawing anatomy, I've never even looked inside that one. Creative techniques drawing, I've never looked inside that one either. Capturing mood ambience and dramatic effects never looked inside that one either I regret to inform design and colour in watercolour this is all my grandparents giving me stuff that I don't read uh, haven't looked inside that one either uh, this is another book of the city where I live uh, this is a collection of Escher's artwork this is a collection of Roger Dean's artwork and lastly the book uh, my family gave me on my 18th birthday, that was me. To be honest, I had better style then than I do now. Anyway, that is everything. So that is my bookshelf tour, and I'm not sure how long it took. I hope it didn't take too long. But, uh, ooh, I'm out of breath. Um, hope you enjoyed it anyway. I mean, I enjoy watching these videos, so hopefully you did. And, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I might make a book haul soon. We'll see. Bye now! Whoosh.